Let's just start uh, team warm up. I, I've gotten away from the traditional. Um, I know it's real. The last five years, everybody does this dynamic warm up, and, and it's impressive. And but your team can't serve the ball over the net or pass the ball to wasted 20 minutes doing a dynamic warm up. Um, I, I understand why, uh, and we do it on game days, but but not usually with practice. We, we have a ball, and, and I think that that's really important. So, uh, girls, why don't we just go one on one? Um, and again, everybody's got different uh, problems with their training. They don't have two courts or five courts or nine courts or they got four balls or they've got one net. Uh, and just go ahead and let's just pass it, just real basic. So maybe just going over just to get warmed up. I'm a real big stickler on communication. The girls are going to do an unbelievable job tonight of every time they contact the ball. So let's set it. So maybe just real basic. And then let's pass set tip, all right? Pass set tip, so it'd be three contacts. And one thing is gesture I'd talk about. I'd talk about them setting the ball high to themselves, maybe pulling their arm back, getting on a 45 degree angle like they're going to hit so they're not hit. And then let's down ball, girls. And go ahead and jack that set up nice and high. Be a good role model. Good. Calling the ball, Jess, every time. Up high. Good. And then let's uh, jump and tip on the net, girls. Let's jump and tip. And again, this is cooperative. We try to go for a number usually. Um, and then let's, uh, let's try to go ahead and jump and swing. Let's see what happens here. Maybe off the net. Good. Try to find her platform. And ways that I've progressed this is, go ahead and hold it up for a second. What ways that I've progressed this uh, that I think is, is again, to enhance the drill, uh, let's have you put out a number so she's got to look across the net. After, before, after you set PD, look across, she'll give you a number, call it out, and then go ahead and attack the ball. So pass to yourself, set to yourself, take your eyes off the ball, look at Willie, call the number. I didn't hear a number. Yeah, you're going to call the number that she shows you. Pass, set, find the number. Five. Good. And I would ask her to set the ball higher because we always want to err setting the ball too high so we always can get a swing. So again, just playing different games, they get better at things. Now you're kind of playing with their attention level, right? Focus. Now they're not. Now they're back. And, and again, you're just trying to make it more difficult. Will you jump in over there and set both sides, please? So again, if you got to three, uh, go ahead, throw it over. Just let's show a quick progression. Just stay on the ground and tip. And again, we just would progress. Setter runs under the net. Good, and this is another one that's good that, hey, let's uh, go ahead and throw a number out, girls, after uh, Bree sets, call it out, good, five, good. So again, just working on trying to look at the defense, maybe a girl is laying on the ground, but we go up and tip instead of hitting straight down, but again, we're just, we're trying to work on uh, some court vision, if you will. Good, uh, let's go ahead and jump in, let's go two people on each side, so again, just we can do the same progression. Let's down ball, girls. Go ahead and down ball. Good. And again, just you can have them jump and hit from the back row and tip from the back row. But again, they're, to me, they're, they're playing volleyball. All right, that's good. Uh, let's get everybody over on this side. And um, can you come out here for a second, both of you guys? So. Go ahead and three in the front row, and just go, uh, one of you go middle back and one go right back. Don't worry, you're not going to have to play. You're, no, you're going to be on the court. You're going to be on the court. So what, when I took the job at North Texas, I, I had a couple things that I thought were really important, really important. Relentless defensive effort and communication. And those were going to be the two staples of our program. And to me, the reason that that was really important was I didn't need girls that were going to be 6'3 or touching 10 foot. This is something that we could change hopefully immediately. And one drill that we did, Sarah, we probably did this almost every day when I got the job, huh? Yeah. yeah. And, and I thought that this was a way that I could teach those two things. So what we did is the same exact drill. We over the net peppered and we'd start for 10 in a row just tipping. And what would happen was we set, for example, when we started, we did the left side. So it was a pass. Go ahead and toss the ball here. So it was a pass, right front set. Go ahead and set it. Toss the ball to Bree. 
Good. Bree would set the outside. She would tip the ball, and then we would rotate. So let's go ahead and just rotate. So then they're doing the same thing over there. Pass, set, tip, ball comes over. Go ahead and just catch it. Good. You'd, right front would set. Good. One thing that we did was I wanted to focus on, again, the communication part of this, and coverage to me was critical. Because I thought, okay, if we can train our to know that they're going to be covered, they're going to be mentality-wise in a lot better place to just go up and take a rip every time. Because I've watched too many girls that just chip it around or they bail themselves out with a tip or and be aggressive because that's how you score points. So we focused a lot on this drill that the setter would follow her set, PD would go right in, you would charge up the line, and you guys would probably just balance the court back there, but I wanted people involved. And as we get going with sixes drills, you'll see I would reward when we play if we covered a ball for two points. Because again, I added value to it. But this was a drill we did every single day. We'd tip it, and I let everybody play everywhere. And if I were to do it again, maybe I'd put a back row kid right back so we'd just rotate around her or something. But again, we were playing volleyball. And everybody has to set, so that's why I made everybody go right front, and we just kept spinning around. And then we, we'd hit, we'd turn it around, we'd do it on the right side, so uh, come on over here. So how this would work is go ahead and toss the ball to him, so the pass would go there. We had right back and set, and she would either, if she was a setter, she would turn it around, or she would, she would face. I wasn't really worried about it, and again, we covered. And we did this cooperatively. We tried to get five, ten in a row, and then I had the scoreboard out, and then we'd compete. And just chipping free balls, alternating sides, or winner takes it, play games to five, and boy, it gets pretty darn competitive. And again, it's just a warm-up, and you can control it. You can put the ball, stay on the ground, just only down ball, only tip, jump and tip, and that's always fun, because then they're trying to throw balls down, and again, you're building an aggressive mentality. Okay. Awesome. You guys are going to stay out here for one more second. Any questions on that segment? Uh, that's 1v1, um, 2v2, 6 versus 6. Um, any questions on any of that? Yeah, the, these two were just giving us six players on the court. So, so, they, so we could understand how we'd rotate with six and seven, four girls. Okay. Anything else? All right, there's a lot of different names for this. Uh, can you line these guys up? Butterfly. So I've heard this called uh, Columbus, Butterfly, a lot of different uh, things that, that I've seen. And again, why I like this is because we can progress a lot out of this drill. So let, let's, just, let's just bowl it under the net, make it real easy. And guys, uh, switch Willie there so they can help him where he's going to go. Switch sides. There you go. So. You're just going to follow the ball, okay? And let's just go ahead and roll it under, just show, okay, or roll it to her, however you want to do it. So that would be a pass, good. We'd pass the target, good. And they're just going to follow the ball. So you pass it to the net, good. Yep. Good, good. Now you're going to come here. Good. And again, we would be serving it, rolling it, throwing it overhand. They're just following the ball. And... Okay. When he when he's at when you're at the target, where the person with the ball, where does what are they doing? Are they actually setting it and then if somebody yep. setting, where are they setting it to? Great great question. Right now, with six, we would just maybe have them catch the ball. So this player would pass, Coach Bree would catch it, and then just come. And then again with more players, uh, go ahead and give me can you come on up here, sir? Come on up here. So with a couple more people. Will you just be the target right there on that side and one be a target on the outside on the other side? So now we could have maybe th this player set the ball. Go ahead and roll it over the net. Let's roll it over the net. Go ahead and catch it. Throw it up like a pass. And then set it to the outside. Good. Catch it. You stay on your own side. You're going to come right here. You're fine. You're right. That's exactly right. So again, yep, you'd throw it over, good. He'd pass, he'd pass the ball to the net. 
she'd set it to the outside. It's gonna follow your ball, right? You threw it under the net, you go that way. So again, there's a pass. Good, he passes it. Set it to the outside, good, she catches it. You gotta follow your ball, right? Our man in the blue, our man in the blue messed up, right? Cause, <laughs> cause, you, cause you, you went from the setting position, you held on to the ball and you went that way and you should be, yeah. Okay, PD is messing us up over there. So, hey girls, let's just sit up, just stand there, okay? Just go where you need to go. So somebody go be a target on that side, good. Okay, a setter, good. So again, the drill start, here, and she's just gonna follow the ball. So she served the ball over the net or threw it overhand. She just goes to where the ball went, okay? That player passed it to target, she goes to where the ball went. That player set it, she goes to where the ball went. And then he stays on his own side of the net. And I've seen this run where they just stay on their own side, so they rotate this way, so I go from here to here to here to here. That works also. And what I really like about this is we can start with a bowling movement, then we can throw. I'm in the court, so I'm warming up my arm. Maybe I serve, maybe I top spin, and then just keep moving them back with whatever age level you have. We, Bree, we did it in 12s last night, right? Your, your team did this, correct? Yeah, and, and again, they're, they're bowling, they're throwing overhand, um, and then she moved them up, and as they got better, she moved them back. Yeah. And... We do this a lot where we try to get whatever, 25, and now I'm the passer over here, and I'm sorry, you're, you're going to throw, so let's get a ball down here. And uh, Willie, just, yeah, here we go. Petey, grab ball. Yeah, so, so now, go ahead and get rid of that ball to try to lose confusion. Go ahead and roll it out. Good. So now it's the same exact drill, but now we just change who's throwing and who's going. So just let's see what this looks like. Go ahead and roll it, guys. So good, she'd pass, target, up, good. So it's the same exact drill. We just move where the passer is coming from and the server. Same exact drill, pass, good. You gotta follow your ball, perfect. Awesome, good, good, hold it, good. So again, yes. And we never bowl under the net. I'm just trying to, I don't know what people catch. I don't know what I got here, so I gotta, I'm just going to. So I, when I'm talking about bowling, let me see that ball, please. When we talk about bowling with the kids, I'm talking about this, a nice, easy free ball. And I know 10-year-olds can do that. So again, they're going to run the drill. Now I can coach the passers. I can coach the setting. I can coach instead of worrying about administering every ball. And what I like about this is we, we really progress out of this quite a bit. Maybe get 15 this way because we can do it fast. 15, get their shoulders going, serve. And then we start advancing. So let's just say that, um, let's turn it back around. Let's make it easy. Go ahead and put the ball over in that position so you're a passer now. Now we start trying to add this player doing something. So maybe it's just a start, just the real simple progression. She's yelling 4-4-4. Four, four, four. She takes her approach. Maybe she just jumps and tips, okay? Then she jumps and hits. And again, we just start progressing with the attack. And then we turn it around. Maybe the target's now back behind. And now they're back setting and doing everything. So again, we just keep progressing the drill. Um, one thing that I'll talk about later about defense, this is a great chance to get all of your little midgets involved. So maybe they're not, don't, don't ever, if they're never going to attack, great. They just stay middle back or right back or left back, wherever, and this player hits it, boom, and they just stay there as a stationary digger. And again, everybody else rotates, they just stay there. So again, you can keep evolving the drill, okay? And, and that's what, again, I really like. You can start simple and just start trying to make it more complex, okay? Um, any questions on that?